<clears throat> you know, it, I was around here when the state took its first step in, 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 in introducing some problem gambling funding to fund, keep in mind, problem gambling is a behavioral health issue. That's what it is, and we all know that this in this session in particular, we are interested and concerned about behavioral health. And, and we started this process of funding behavioral health in our state back in 2005, six. I was chairing the House Committee at the time when we implemented this funding. But we've not, but since that time, we've had a vast expansion of gambling in our state. It's not like gambling's gotten smaller. Gambling has grown in our state. And most recently, we implemented sports betting, as you know, as another gambling activity. And we had, I felt back three years ago when we implemented the task force that we needed to come together to figure out where we are in treating problem gambling. And this task force was, the thought of this task force began about three years ago and of course it ran right into the COVID problem as well. But for two, three years, the task force has been meeting, looking at the services we provide for problem gambling and looking at the finances we provide for, for problem gambling. We, in, in, at the same time, we implemented a, a study of the prevalence study to figure out what was the prevalence of problem gambling in Washington State. Uh, today, I'm going to leave the, but what we discovered in that prevalence study that we're about funding half of the problem and half of the problem is out there to be treated. So this bill comes to you from the task force. It met uh, in these three year period and during that period, the healthcare authority did their prevalence study. And this, this bill implements the recommendations of that task force. I can't tell you, this is critical. We have authorized expansion of problem ga of gambling in our state, but we've not complemented that expansion with treatment for people who have behavioral health issues associated with problem gambling. So the, the funding of this program, the 1.3 1, 1 was what we funded this program back in, the, at, in, in 2006. The recommendation is to bring that up to 2% on as a, it's a, a tax on gambling activity in our various state gambling institutions, namely horse racing, also also in lottery, and also in in the uh, many uh, in the in the card room uh, area of gambling in this state. Uh, this two percent is not an unknown figure. The, the gambling commission has implemented the two percent through the compact process with some of our larger tribes as well. So this is just bringing the funding of the state funding up to the same level that we've negotiated with some of the major tribes in, in our state. Uh, I think this bill is where it needs to be. It has a, a, a group established in the bill to measure the implementation uh, to see where we're at in meeting this need for treatment in our state. 